guys, Will here with WTF Car Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing this all new 2022 Havana Red Genesis G70 Sport Prestige. And a huge thanks to Mark Bedell and the rest of the management and staff here at Gettle Genesis in Sarasota, Florida for making this review possible. These guys have an impressive dealership, I'll leave a link to their inventory below and if you're looking for a new premium vehicle in the Sarasota area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and ask for Mark. And for those of you guys who don't know, the G70 has been Genesis entry-level sports sedan since 2018. That's when the first generation was released. The 2021 and 2022 model years are facelifted with an updated exterior. We got a new bumper, new grille design, new lighting, as well as a new screen for the interior. So it is an all-new vehicle for the post-facelifted Genesis G70. Here we have the 3.3 liter turbo Sport Prestige, which is the top of the line when it comes to performance. And we also get the premium package, both packages running about $4,000, but both really transform this $42,000 base price Genesis G70 3.3 turbo into a truly impressive performance luxury sedan. But for a base price now with the Sport Prestige package and the premium package starting around 52,000 bucks, Let's see what we get. So up front, you notice your dual LED headlights for the high and low beam. Beautiful daytime running strip around it. This Havana red metallic paint color. Absolutely gorgeous. Really shines in this Florida sun. The updated blacked out Genesis grill with the advanced safety feature panel on it. Forward facing camera right above. I'm really liking the dark smoke trim for the surrounds of this grill. Not a lot of shiny chrome on the sedan at all. The lower area houses your intercooler. Front parking sensing, which is a nice luxury feature, and of course your distinguishing Genesis badge right up front. I kind of like this material surrounding the Genesis, kind of looks like a faux carbon fiber, and the hood design, how it flares off in the center really pops. But as far as the wheel and tire setup, this is also where this sports sedan really shines. We got these gorgeous blacked out 19 inch rims wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires. The dimensions here are 22540 R19s for the front. You notice your massive four piston brembo brake caliper i'm liking the red paint it doesn't say genesis anywhere on it just brembo we get a heat extractor black right outside of it the mirrors are body color with a led turn signal on it blind spot sensor too i'll show you guys inside once you turn the turn signals on you can see exactly what's in your blind spot which is nice when you're on a highway you notice a little bit of smoke chrome on the side i'm not the biggest opponent to smoke chrome i'm not the biggest fan of shiny chrome but with this smoke chrome it actually fits really nicely with this metallic red paint blacked out b pillar solid tints for the windows you notice your black panel up top for your massive moonroof i kind of wish that black theme continued for the rest of the grill you guys can let me know in the comments section what you think it still looks really good i just feel like the full black roof would look a little bit better we get the smart access for the driver and the front passenger no smart access for the rear not a really big deal though the gas cap is not pushed to open i'll show you where the latch is inside rear wheel and tire setup we do get a staggered setup still 19 inch rims except these are wrapped in wider 255 35 zr19 still michelin pilot sport 4 tires the brembo brakes of course are included in your sport prestige package and i'm really liking these five spoke rims with the centerpiece hollowed out but as far as the rear styling also updated for the post refresh you see your little daytime runners inside of your tail lights reverse lights are next to your license plate bracket shout out Gatel. Hyundai and Genesis here in Sarasota, Florida for making this review possible. Of course, G70 badge on the trunklet, Genesis in the center, rear facing camera right above that. And we don't get a spoiler, but the trunklet kind of flares off like a spoiler. It's almost like a built-in spoiler for the sports sedan. And on the right side, of course, we get the 3.3 T badge for this 365 horsepower, 376 pound-feet of torque turbo V6 engine. You notice your quad exhaust tips in your oval outlets but speaking of the exhaust tips let's start this 3.3 liter turbo up and hear how she sounds All right, guys, that was, of course, the sound of the turbo 3.3 liter V6 sold by Genesis for this 2022 G70. As soon as you figure out the slash, we can 
open it up. A little bit tricky, actually. Not quite sure where the latch is. All right, but we figured it out. That thumbs up for the struts. Definitely makes it easier opening up. But we already reviewed the Kia Stinger GT with a very similar power plant. You got the 3.3 liter turbo making 365 horsepower, 376 pound-feet of torque, enough to get the sports sedan to 60 in the mid Four second range making it a no joke performer made it to this eight speed transmission and rear wheel drive you notice the strut tower braces connecting the strut towers to the chassis in front of the radiator we don't have any additional supports but those hood supports should really help when it comes to handling but we can shut this thing up got to use a little bit of effort and we can take a step back get a good look at that light pattern one more time really a huge fan of the front end styling of this updated 2022 G70 Sport Prestige as far as the interior we could take a step inside and really check it out because that's where this luxury sports sedan really shines up top of course soft touch materials aluminum beneath that the aluminum door handle has a very good resistance to it I like the pattern for this aluminum it's not actually grained but it kind of looks like a nice little fish scale material two person memory seats three speakers on the door panel super soft Leather for the armrest, we get the quilted leather for the middle portion, auto one touch for all four, four-way adjustable mirrors, power folding. The bottom portion is not soft touch, but it is rubberized, so it feels very high quality. Good storage, you fit probably a 16 ounce bottle and a foot long right next to it. The sound system is a 15 speaker lexicon, if I didn't mention. Stepping inside, we get the Genesis illuminated, well not illuminated, just a Genesis aluminum nameplate. These seats are Beautiful. We get the quilted leather for the center, perforated, heated, and ventilated. A little bit of aluminum for the outer portion. Nice and soft for the headrest. Good bolstering, and they're adjustable. When you put the car into Sport and Sport Plus mode, the bolsters automatically get tighter and fit you more snug. The seats are also fully adjustable. You can recline, drop, lift, and slide the seats. Adjustable lumbar, adjustable bolsters, and adjustable thigh support. Truly a loaded vehicle as far as the interior itself. We can take a step inside and really check it out and first thing we notice is the steering wheel hyundai and genesis have been killing it lately the thickness is up there we get good 10 and 2 bolstering notches 9 and 3 is perfect for your hands and we get perforated leather for that area too no flat bottom wouldn't really be expected with a luxury sports sedan the horn area is also rubberized genesis badge in the center as far as the horn itself pretty aggressive sounding horn people should definitely be getting out of your way on the left side the steering wheel voice commands mode which you can adjust between am fm and sirius and your phone if you have your phone connected for the media adjustments for the volume and you can skip your songs call settings and your favorites on the right side this button adjusts your little heads up infotainment cluster hill descent control for the radar cruise control lane keep assist and lane uh, departure warning too and your radar cruise which you can adjust over here but these controls adjust your infotainment you press this button we're looking at the contents and this button adjusts whether we're going up or down so we can see our oil temp torque and turbo gauge at all times that's a pretty cool gauge for a sports sedan engine temp tire pressure you have to be driving to see that attention level and a digital speedometer all pretty cool to look at at all times my personal favorite would just to be looking at the oil temp torque and turbo gauge on the left side we get a 180 mile an hour speedometer about a 6300 or 6200 rpm tack but pretty nice overall gas level on the left side to the left of the steering wheel we get the interior brightness gas tank or gas cap opener and a trunk release the stocks are also super high quality turn signals if you notice we can see exactly what's in our blind spot when we press the turn signal stocks unfortunately only the tachometer shows us our blind spot but it doesn't matter if you use the left turn signal you still see what's in your left blind spot use the right turn signal you see what's in your right blind spot the paddle shifters are also nice they're aluminum rain sensing wipers all high quality features the dashboard is stitched nice leather stitch material with a contrast leather stitch for the middle portion of the dash aluminum connecting the air vents and we got the updated 10.25 inch touchscreen so here we can see our map navigation phone phone projection this screen of course has apple carplay and android auto sounds of nature setup valet mode really everything you could possibly want or need we can take a look at the map we can press it right over here hide our sirius and you can see super high resolution map great response to and the plastic is still on the screen i believe so once you remove the plastic, it'll be even more responsive. But I'm really liking it. Hyundai and Kia have been killing it with their infotainment screens lately. Engine start, stop button, two more air vents and shortcuts. So you don't have to go through the screen if you want to go to your map, nav, radio, media, favorites, or setup. The volume dials have a pretty good click to it. They don't feel cheap at all. Heated steering wheel, heated and ventilated seats, dual zone automatic climate control, 
Really a loaded vehicle. On the bottom, we get our 12 volt USB port and a wireless charging pad. Somebody left their Prada sunglasses here, but I'm gonna leave them here. Uh, hopefully the owner ends up finding them. Wireless charging pad, if we didn't mention, that fish scale, aluminum trim for the middle portion, gear selector controlling your eight speed automatic transmission. The backup camera, we can throw it in there. You can see really high resolution. We get a 362. We have different camera lenses or views too. This gives us a top little, I guess, trailer hitch view. If you wanna connect this vehicle to a trailer hitch receiver, I'm just kidding, but you press the button, you go right back to where you were. Blind spot camera. So you really can see just about everything you would need. Throw it right back into park by pressing this button. Two cup holders. This is still some rubberized plastic, which is impressive. Everything in this interior is super high quality. The leather stitch trim continues for where your knee will often hit. This center armrest, nice soft leather with the contrast stitching. As far as space, we can open it up. Pretty massive. I would expect you to fit, if you lie them down, at least six, maybe even seven 12 ounce cans. You got a USB port in there too, and everything's lined with felt. The glove box, you pull this latch, also damp, move my water bottle out of the way, and lined with felt. Really large. I would expect you to fit at least uh, possibly two pairs of shoes. You should e easily fit 20, 25 license plates. Not a frameless rear view mirror, unfortunately. It does look a little bit dated. You got your three garage home link settings on it, SOS, and all that information, sunglass holder, and the roof, not the roof, the headliner is a suede Alcantara, really high quality trim. This is just a $50,000 loaded sports sedan, guys, and we get Alcantara roof. All the materials in this vehicle are super impressive. We can open up the shade, check out this wide sunroof. And we can open up the sunroof. It's a pretty hot day today in Sarasota, Florida. We can poke our way out of here. But yeah, the sunroof opens up really far. You can probably see my man Andrew in the back seat here from Gatel Hyundai. If it opens up any further, it does not. We can close it up. We'll leave the shade open for when we hop out back. You can see how much light is brought into the cabin. But that's about it for all the features in this interior. Before we hop out back, let's take a look at the window sticker real quick. See any features that I may have missed. But of course, we got the 2022 G70 rear wheel drive 3.3T Sport Prestige. On top of having some of the best warranty in the business with a five year, 60,000 mile new vehicle, 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain, we also get the Genesis Experience, which offers three year, 36 complimentary maintenance, three year, 36 complimentary service valet, all that. You guys can pause, take a look at all the standard features. Truly a loaded vehicle from the factory as a standard G70, starting at 42,350 bucks. This vehicle has a few options, starting with the Sport Advance package for 4,300. We get the parking distance warning for the forward and reverse, 19 inch Sport alloy wheels, aluminum trim with the Sport pattern, ventilated front seats, wide sunroof, 15 speaker Lexicon audio system, wireless phone charging, dark chrome grille and daytime running lights, variable exhaust valve system, power driver seat bolsters and cushion extenders, and your Genesis digital key, all coming equipped for your Sport Advance package costing $4,300. This gorgeous Havana red metallic paint runs you an additional $575, $4,000 for the Sport Prestige package. That includes the heads-up display. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Hopefully, you guys can pick it up on camera. Really a nice display. We also get the surround view monitor, which is your 360. With a blind spot view monitor, we get Napa leather seating surfaces, microfiber suede headliner, Brembo braking system, limited slip differential, which should really help put the power down with this 365 horsepower, 376 pound foot of torque, 3.3 liter turbo, and a heated steering wheel, all, called, all coming equipped on your $4,000 Sport Prestige package. After a $1,000 destination charge, expect total vehicle price sitting at $52,320. Pretty good on gas too, expect 21 combined MPGs, 18 city, 27 highway. But that's about it for the features on this 2022 Genesis G70 Sport Prestige. Let's check out the back seat real quick, see the quality of the materials as well as the overall space. All right, guys, step into the back seat on the 2022 G70 Sport Prestige 3.3T. Soft touch up top to be expected, aluminum beneath that fish scale looking aluminum surrounding your door handle, two speakers for your 15 speaker lexicon on the rear door panel. The quilted leather continues for the middle portion, super soft for the armrest auto one touch, even out rear, and we get tints as you notice as well stepping inside for the back seat genesis aluminum nameplate quilted leather seats really nice quality solid bolstering goes all the way out to the door frame really impressive as far as legroom i'm six feet tall sitting behind my seat settings and yeah i'm starting to kind of run out of space i can pull the seat forward a little bit further i still have about like an inch or two before my knees will start to touch my feet have a little bit of space i'm liking the two air vents however and with the buttons for the passenger i can actually slide this 
back and forth. So, so somebody that's six feet tall doesn't necessarily have to sit behind their seat settings. They can just sit behind the passenger and have more than enough space. I'm really liking the suede Alcantara headliner. Ton of light brought into the cabin thanks to this moonroof and a USB port as well. I'm really liking this back seat area. We also get a string for the center cubby. You open it up, two cup holders, a pass through, good spot for a phone, and it's pretty soft. Nice spot for an elbow. We can take a look at the interior lighting, which is LED. Hopefully you guys can pick it up, but that's about it for the back seat of this 2022 Genesis G70 3.3T Sport Prestige. I have enough space back here. I have a couple inches for my knees, a little bit of room for my feet. Not the most space. I could always readjust my rear, my front seat settings and accommodate taller rear passengers. Let's check out the trunk real quick and then take this car out for a drive. All right, guys, to open up the trunk, you simply press this button right up top and the tailgate opens up hydraulically for you. Massive opening. You can fit just about anything you would need. And I'm liking how the hinges have those covers so you're not to worry about getting your cargo crushed by those hinges. We get some secret storage too. You pop this thing up, you can see your temporary spare tire kit, jack, and tire iron. I like how the wheel wells are cut out nicely. You can fit a golf bag back here pretty easily. I can't reach the back seat, so it's a pretty deep trunk. You get your floor mats, but that's about it. The tailgate does not close by button. It's just hydraulic, not electric. We can shut it up right there. Take one more step back. You can hear those exhaust tips rumbling and your daytime running lights for your tail lights. But let's take this 2022 Genesis G70 3.3T out for a drive. All right, guys, now we're just about seeing everything we need to see with the inside and outside of this only 2022 Genesis G70 3.3 Turbo. Let's take it out for a drive. And as soon as we get the chance, we'll take a step out into this multiple lane highway and try out the acceleration. All right, guys, taking a step out here. We got the paddle shifters activated. First gear, pretty good. Second gear. Oh. Once that boost kicks in, this thing rips. The brakes feel really nice. Consistent too, it doesn't just smack you into the windshield as soon as you lean into the pedal. It actually has a gradual build. All right guys, stepping out into this multiple lane highway, you can try a little passing power on the gas. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, this thing can get up and go real quick. You can try these rev match downshifts. Sounds pretty good. Wow. Yeah, as far as performance, this thing is definitely no slouch, but we can take it out of Sport Plus mode. We don't have to push it a whole lot farther. If you press and hold the right paddle shifter, it throws you right back into regular drive. And even in regular drive, when you're in Sport Plus, you're losing your overdrive gears. It's gonna be a more aggressive mode. The steering gets heavier, more responsive, but overall, it's still a very good luxury sedan, even in Sport Plus. But we'll throw it right back into We'll try comfort mode, see what the differences are in comfort. We could try out regular sport too, but in comfort mode, my first impression is the steering gets a lot lighter, much lighter steering. It's much less on center too. The gas pedal is less sensitive. The boost takes a little bit longer to kick in. I'm really liking that blind spot little pocket for the tachometer gauge, but it looks like we got quite a few cars in the road. Not much we can do here, but as far as ride quality, even for the sport, advanced trim it still feels extremely composed you do need more gas pedal to maintain speed and comfort mode not quite as aggressive but still feels great all right guys we can try it out in sport mode not sport plus see what the differences are okay the transmission is more sensitive so is the exhaust as far as a little acceleration right here on the gas oh yeah wow you don't have to push it a whole lot farther this thing can move it is no joke and just, yeah, it pulls hard. And in sport mode, we still get a little bit of an overdrive cruising around like 50 miles per hour. We are at 2000 RPM, so it's not quite as aggressive as Sport Plus. Shouldn't really be expected to be more aggressive than Sport Plus, but it still feels really nice in sport mode. Yeah, the throttle gets a lot more sensitive, keeping up with speed feels a lot more effortless but as far as like the turn in the steering feels sharp very little effort for the turn in to actually get the vehicle moving we try one more little highway pull slow down third gear second gear on the gas boost yeah once that boost kicks in this thing is gone this car also has individual mode so if you want to have the sportier steering sportier throttle and exhaust 
but you want to have the comfort suspension and comfort transmission so you can still keep your overdrive gears you can adjust that all for the individual mode of course i'm not going to be doing that for this dealership car but in sport mode you get to speed quickly it sounds good too with light throttle you shift around like 2700 rpm so it's still a little bit more aggressive come on guy <laughs> it's still a little bit more aggressive but it's doable for daily driving sport plus is a little bit too much sport plus also turns turns off your traction control so if you're in like colder environments or if where it rains a lot maybe even snows since this is just a rear-wheel drive car i wouldn't necessarily recommend driving in sport plus very frequently especially since sport is very aggressive compared to comfort Comfort's a little bit too soft for me. If you're looking for the ultimate luxury drive, then yes, leave it in comfort mode. It makes the steering a lot more effortless. It makes the acceleration seem a little bit less jolty. But if you're optioning in the $4,000 Sport Advance package where the Brembo brakes, heads up display, and all these other goodies, I think you prefer having a little bit more of a sport tuned Genesis G70. So I would recommend leaving it in just the regular sport mode. But other than that, I'm really impressed with this car. The performance is absolutely excellent. The luxury is up there too. Soft touch materials everywhere, leather stitch trim. This like fish scale looking aluminum looks really, really premium. I didn't mean to turn that turn signal on. Uh, but overall, this is a great car. Almost 400 horsepower. It feels like it's at 400 horsepower. This motor feels underrated. I know I mentioned that with the Stinger GT that we reviewed in this channel, but the same thing can be set here. Four and a half seconds, zero to 60. Luxury materials just about everywhere heated ventilated seats heated steering wheel is nice if you're in colder climates with the updated touchscreen uh, i'm really impressed the only real complaints i have with this vehicle is just a slightly dated rear view mirror it seems like it's a little bit old for the new updated post refresh genesis g70 but the fact that that's my only complaint just says a lot about this car i would definitely recommend anybody looking for a premium emphasis on the premium sports sedan under the $50,000 mark or around the $50,000 mark, I would definitely recommend checking out the Genesis G70. You will not be disappointed. And huge thanks to Gattel, Hyundai, and Genesis here in Sarasota, Florida for making this review possible. If you're in the market for a new vehicle, premium vehicle, if you're looking at the Genesis side of things, I would definitely recommend checking out Gattel, Hyundai, and Genesis here in Sarasota, Florida, and ask for Andrew. Other than that, I'd like to give all of you a huge thanks for watching. I had a great time making this video. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys know I have endless gratitude for all the subscribers. You know the channel is just not possible without you guys. And I really have a huge appreciation for each and every one of you and your constant support. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like too. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's any specific cars or trucks you'd like to see reviewed in this channel too. Let me know what the trim levels are, and I'll definitely try to get those videos for you as soon as possible. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope all of you have a great day.